Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and in this video I want to show you how you can run load tests for your ASP.NET applications. So a load test is a type of performance testing that checks how well a system can handle a specific amount of user traffic or data processing. So here I have an ASP.NET application, it's a web API and just a single controller and a single endpoint, which is like get user, which simply returns one user by ID from that list. So we will now go ahead, install a tool, which is called JMeter and send a lot of traffic to that endpoint of the API to check how it performs. Now that's the tool that we need. We need to download Apache JMeter and therefore you need to have Java installed. So go ahead, open up your comment prompt and then search for Java dash version and check if it's installed for me, it is installed. Once you're done, come back to the jmeter.apache.org page where you can download the project and then go into the binary section here and you got a zip file right here. Now go ahead and download that and open it up. So I got the folder opened right now and if we scroll a little bit down, we will find a file which is called jmeter.bat which is a Windows batch file. So double click on that and open it. Alrighty, so you can put that on your desktop or wherever and now you can see Apache jmeter is opened. Well, usually I don't explain how to install tools, but for Java, well, executables, it's sometimes a little bit difficult for some people, so that's why I wanted to add it in. Awesome, so now we can get started with our load test. Oh, and if you're interested in some more advanced C-Shop skills, please go ahead and check out our C-Shop Progress Academy. It's a self-paced online course that teaches you ASP.NET Core, Angular, unit testing, and even software design patterns in C-Shop. We offer a 14-day money-back guarantee, and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C-Shop developer to gain new skills and get hired faster. Awesome, so first of all, Let's just right click on that test plan right here. Let's add new threads. You can see it's users. So a thread group is a group of users that will be simulated during the load test. So click on thread group here. Now inside of the thread group, right click and let's add in the sampler an HTTP request. Now in my application, you can see that it is running. We have a get endpoint right here with slash ID and then we can pass any, uh, any ID to get the user. So for example, the first one would be ID one and our route is API slash the name of the controller. So API slash user slash ID will give us the final user. So let's keep that in mind. Let's set up the request right here. Make sure to put it in HTTP request. So it's a get one. Now let's put in the actual URL or the path. So it's HTTPS localhost 7179 for me. So your port will for sure be different. API slash user slash one. Great. Now let's set up some reports so that we can see the actual results in the end. So right click on the thread group again and add a listener and add view results tree. Perfect. Now let's hit the green start button right here. You can now see or you should be able to see the actual result that should be green or it could also be red if the actual request failed. Now we got some information right here. Okay. Awesome. Everything worked fine. That's quite nice. Now let's increase the traffic because a single request would be just like I could just use any other tool and send a single request. So let's go to our thread group again. And here you can see the number of threads. So how many user sessions we will have or how many requests we will actually send. Let's increase it to two. And here you can see a loop count. So let's say we have two or three loops, let's say three, that will be in total three times two, that should be six HTTP requests finally. So let's see that right here. Let's click the green start button again. You can now see we had one, two, and then one, two, and again, one, two. So this is actually how the load test is working. Let's get back to the thread group here again. Now the ramp up period that we have right here is like how quickly the users will be added to the test, right? So if we have 10 seconds, then the test overall will for sure take longer because users will get added in a much slower way. So let's increase it. Let's set it for example to uh, 20 and let's set the loop count to two. Let's go to our view results tree. Let's hit start. You can see that we are sending a lot of HTTP requests. You can also see the load time, connect time, latency, and all of that. So yeah, this is basically how you can send a load test to your application, especially to your API to see how many requests can get handled and if any errors occur. 
So why don't you go ahead and just test your API and send 50 or 100 requests in a very short amount of time to your API to see how it behaves. And that's it for this video. So if you liked it, go ahead and smash the like button and for sure subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any upcoming videos. Check out our C-Sharp Progress Academy if you're interested in some more advanced C-Sharp skills and I'd be happy to see you back in the next video.